What's up gamers? I'm John. This is my Level Up News, where I'm bringing news every weekday. It's the top news I gather from around the web so you don't have to. Today's Monday, June 3rd, 2024. Let's get you leveled up with today's news. Exciting news from Pocket Pair. They've been teasing a huge update for Power World, set for full reveal at Summer Games Fest next week. Recently, community manager Bucky shared an adorable clip on Twitter featuring new frog pals, sparkling fan speculation. This summer update promises at least four new piles and potential new variations of old ones. However, the much anticipated PvP arena won't be included just yet, expected later this year. Don't miss Summer Games Fest on June 7th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, featuring big announcements from 2K Games, Sega, Capcom, and more. Power World is currently available on Xbox and PC via Early Access. Larian Studios has announced Patch 7 for Baldur's Gate 3, introducing an officially supported modding toolkit. Starting June 3rd, a closed beta will grant access to selected mod creators, expanding to 1,000 players in July, with a full release expected in September. The toolkit allows players to create new classes, weapons, and more, while still supporting unofficial mods. Modding will be initially available for PC via Mod.io, with Mac and console support to follow. Larian emphasizes their commitment to the modding community and plans no restrictions on unofficial mods. Rumors of a Ghost of Tsushima sequel just won't die and now industry insider Daniel Richmond has confirmed it's in the works on his Patreon. Though there's no word on a release date or announcement, it's been 4 years since the original game hit PS4 and a PC version launched last month. Given the success of the first game and a live action adaptation in development, a sequel seems inevitable. With PlayStation heavily promoting Ghost of Tsushima and the protagonist Jin Sakai, it's likely just a matter of when, not if, we'll get an official reveal. The boys might be coming to Fortnite as new skins. Insider Nick Baker revealed that Epic Games is preparing this crossover, though it might not happen for a while. Meanwhile, the Boys Season 4 premieres on Prime Video with a three episode release on June 13th. And Homelander joins Mortal Kombat 1 on June 4th for early access. With Destiny 2's The Final Shape expansion launching on June 4th, there's a big caveat. A 25 hour downtime starts June 3rd at 9 a.m. Pacific Time, 12 p.m. Eastern Time. Preloads begin June 3rd at 10 a.m. PT and 1 p.m. Eastern Time for PlayStation, Xbox, Steam, Epic, and Microsoft Store. Be aware of the massive file sizes. Steam nearly requires 300 gigabytes for preload. Prepare your hardware, spend legendary shards, and get ready for the Epic launch. Embark Studios has rolled out a hotfix for the finals to tackle a frustrating exploit that lets players track opponents through walls. This fix addresses issues from the update 2.10.0, including broken aim assist and persistent enemy health bars appearing through walls. They've also fixed contract tracking issues and reverted the removal of directional weapon bonding for controllers. Another exploit that allowed rapid firing of certain weapons during animation cancellations has been patched. Despite a strong start, the finals has faced challenges with cheaters and lower than expected performance. If you're into Souls-like games, you might want to check out Lords of the Fallen by Deck 13 Interactive and CI Games. Set in a dark medieval fantasy world, this game has been updated nearly 30 times since its October 2023 release. You play as Harkin, a criminal seeker redemption in a world haunted by demonic Rogar forces navigating between the worlds of Albrill and Axiom. The game features rewarding combat with a variety of weapons and builds, offering high customizations. It's tough, but mastering its mechanics is satisfying. A unique range slot in builds and constant updates make it stand out. Plus, it's now on Game Pass, perfect for those waiting for the Elden Ring DLC. Hogwarts Legacy is finally getting a long requested photo mode in an update arriving on June 6. This update will also bring the haunted Hogsmeade shop quest and various cosmetic items to all platforms, not just PlayStation. Fans are thrilled to capture and share their magical adventures, but some are disappointed there's no new game plus or new story DLC. Despite the mixed reactions, it's great to see the game still receiving support over a year after its release. 
Enjoy Hogwarts Legacy on PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch. Helldivers 2 fans were puzzled when the usual weekly patch was missed last Tuesday, but on June 1st, Arrowhead Game Studios explained the delay. They announced a slowdown in update frequency to ensure higher quality and reduce team pressure. This change allows more time for community feedback and prevents rapid back and forth adjustments. While many appreciated the transparency, some were frustrated as bugs persist, especially in the operation enduring peace mission. Despite mixed reaction, a slower, more thorough approach might be what Helldivers 2 needs right now. The next major patch is expected in the second week of June. Everwild is still in active development, despite a lack of updates in recent years. Unveiled by Rare in 2019, details about the games have not been coming out, leading to speculation about its potential cancellation. However, insider Jez Cordon reports that Everwild is still trucking along and not cancelled. Revealed with stunning but vague trailers in 2019 and 2020, the game has since gone dark. Fans hope for a reappearance at the 2024 Xbox Games Showcase on June 9th, though it might be too early according to Corden. Despite a rumored reboot, Xbox fans eagerly await more news on this anticipated title. And with that bundle of gaming news, I hope you got enough experience points to level up your gaming knowledge today. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell notification so you don't miss any new videos coming out.